a lot of us check our horoscopes every day, so we called in, or they called in, the Astrologer Twins. Yes! yes. yes. I yes. got that right, right? And they're about to tell us what our stars are telling us. And we have a Leo here. Virgo oh. in the middle. Scorpio! Mm. And what we discovered in commercial is Hillary doesn't know if she's a match for her husband, and they're already married. Oh, I know we're a match. <laughs> I know we're a match. You guys want to tell me if I, we are deeper a match with our horoscopes. Is Leo Leo good? You know what it really is? It's a passionate, sleepy right, match. Hillary. Yes. <laughs> a couple of lions frolicking around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Because some signs you don't, like, they're love matches. Yeah, oh, but yeah. That, one's a, that one's a great one because yeah. there's, it's never a dull moment, you know? One goes out to the hunt. The other holds down. Wow, the home I'm getting fort, a look into Hillary's you know? life now. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourselves a Leo. Yeah. No, I, I'm married to a Capricorn. So, just insider information is that good, Virgo Capricorn? Yes, because you're both Earth signs. So, you know, you're uh, very so stable you well and too. grounded. You did together. well, too. Yeah. Hillary and I are already you. in, so you need to read right, right. You said stable and grounded? Yes, yeah, together. Like Max. You know, you look crazy. I, I'm not as stable or grounded. But he probably. But he. But when you're at home together, you can probably. Oh, I'm just super chill. grounded at home. Yeah, really? it's just yeah. out here. Everything's clean. Everything's clean. Yeah, everything is so clean. Yes, you should Hi, see my closet. Yeah. yeah, Maria condoed that. Oh, okay. Right. But what about her work that's husband? Gross. Yeah, this is my work boo. Oh, that's more like the best friends without the, Scorpio the benefits. Thing. Yeah. 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 Virgos well, Virgos are Virgos are are very sharp. You're super supportive. You're witty, and then the Scorpio. Scorpios are ultra loyal. You're magnetic and kind of intense. Yeah. Really? Go intense from zero to size. sixty fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zero to sixty fast, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. My, you see my intense look? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know the score. Careful, you're gonna light yeah. a fire. Yeah, may, that may be too much for the audience here. But, calm down yeah, on that. I mean, <laughs> you understand each other. You're kind of best friend signs. Mm -hmm. and, That's true. Uh, yeah. That's true. It's maybe fun. you both get yeah, a little bit perfectionistic together, don't you think? Yeah, you can get a little too much in the details together. You need someone to come in and refocus get us out you of on the head. Like a Leo, like, like a Leo. Leo. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. in every once in a while. Right. And get us together. Get, yeah. get it all together. Yeah. But we have some audience members who have some questions. And yeah, the First one, we got my man Robert Ben, who's from Philadelphia. Robert, what's your question? Hi. Good morning. Uh, my name is Robert. Robert. You Michael could speak said. into that mic there. Good morning. My name is Michael. My name is Michael. Too. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Robert. I am from Philly. Um, I've been married twice, been divorced twice. Wow. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help. That didn't help. We don't need a peanut gallery. Exactly. <laughs> um, I, I want I, I want to get married again. Will it be third three times a charm? And what well, and your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Oh, an Aries. I'm married to an Aries. Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely. Yep. You know, Aries never give up. When you have a goal, you will keep on going for it. The thing about Aries, you're very independent, a little impatient. You kind of rush into things sometimes. Mm. Get into. I mean, like I got engaged marriages. after like okay. a few days, maybe something like that. Yeah, but her I, husband but, proposed her after three days. We know Aries can kind of rush in, and then sometimes like, oops, what did I do? But ten years later, you know, so you just need to find somebody, maybe like a Sag. Sagittarius or a Gemini and Aquarius who's very like who lets you have your independent space and will be an adventurer with you and not bore you because you get bored easily. I right? Can I get an X's yeah. sign? Any of them? Like, do, do you have um, a sign from one of the X's? Oh, yeah. What sign? Yeah, would actually, you? one was actually an Aries. The last one was a Scorpio. Ooh. Don't point at it me. Has <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't I, know you'd marry her. I'm just saying. I'm gonna just say. I'm just saying. You weren't looking for marriage. Well, there, you know what? I wasn't. Yeah. I'm an actor, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Being, yeah. I'm on a road Those were like strong <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, we have another audience question. We actually have a hey. video from Jennifer Pio and Joe Kim in Los Angeles. Let's see it. Hi. Hi. I'm a Capricorn. And I'm a Sagittarius. And, and we're, we're getting, getting married, married next, next year. year. What do we have to do to stay stress free during the planning process? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Okay, well, so a Capricorn and a Sagittarius, interesting match. They're very different. But if they play to their strengths, they can definitely make it work. She, as a Capricorn, is really good at planning everything. Needs so a budget. They need the budget, the timeline, the spreadsheets. They'll make it happen, but they can take some of the fun out of it. So, yeah, you know, the Sagittarius needs it. Well, oh, you know, they get a little... You know, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a 
ahead of it. When they get a little too free range, yes. Okay. okay. But, yeah. but the Sagittarius needs it to be fun and adventurous. Maybe, you know, there Pick should be. The DJ, plan the food and the party. It's one of those odd couple matches, like Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are that match. So it's like they can't stay away from each other, but it's like, how did these two get together? Good luck. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's always stressful. Are so. gardeners also psychics? This, no. You know, so, you can be I was going to ask how my movie, what they had, is going to do. <laughs> this is, like, uh, uh, we can help this is a okay. great time to be a Leo right now. Great. Hey. Hey. Well, Leos, lots of Leos in the house. Here's another question, though. Um, when everybody is in a funky mood, we always hear people say something like, it's because this planet is in retrograde. Mm, what yes. does that mean? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah. A retrograde planet is, um, it's basically when another planet passes the Earth in its orbit, and it kind of looks like it's going backwards, so everything associated with that planet seems to be going in reverse. So right now, from October 5th until November 16th, Venus. Right now, it's already in Venus, Venus, the planet Venus of love, planet. is retrograde. Oh. So has anybody heard from an ex or had a dream about an ex or run into one? That's one of what the things What should we that not do? Because they say there's some decision yeah. making. Stop and right. talk to them? No. <laughs> yeah. no don't don't yeah. answer the ex. Definitely don't, don't call up an ex. Don't start a little fight over a petty thing in your relationship. You got to let things go now. Actually, you know, we can give tips for all the signs for that, if that would be helpful. And, yeah. And I have one last quick question. What if you're on the cusp of a, like a Sagittarius Scorpio? Right. Can you That's have a, a little question. bit of both? Yeah. You kind of do, but your zodiac sign is determined by the exact minute that you're born. That changes every year. So if you know your time, date, and place of birth, you can find out which sign you are. And no, you only have to read one horse. Scope then. So, oh, yeah. wow. And, and I'm sorry, one last thing. No, no, you got There are some people who are always in a bad mood. Is there like permanent retrograde? <laughs> GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.